Hi, this is question two from the AQA Further Pure 1 January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to see if you can try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go. Okay, why don't you manage to have a go at the question. For the next part of the video, I'm going to give you some hints as to how you can go about answering the question. For part A, we want to solve this equation w squared plus 6w plus 34 is equal to 0. And we want to give our answers in the form p plus qi, where p and q are integers. So what I suggest that you do is um, have a go at completing the square on this part um, of the equation, and then use that to um, write it in the form, um, sorry, to solve the equation and write it in the form p plus qi. Um, it says giving your answers, so it's likely that you're going to have more than one solution here. Part B, it says, um, it, sorry, it is given that z is equal to i times 1 plus i times 2 plus i. Um, for the first part of this question, we need to express z in the form a plus bi, where a and b are integers. Um, so what you want to do here is... Um, I would suggest that you expand the double brackets part of it here first um, and then once you've done that multiply everything by i um, and what you need to remember is that i squared is going to be i times i which is going to be negative 1 so i squared is equal to negative 1 OK, part 2 says find the integers m and n such that z plus m um, z star is equal to n i. Um, so z star is the conjugate or the complex conjugate of z. So if z is equal to a plus b i, then z star is the complex conjugate of z and that's going to be equal to a take away b i. So um, we should be able to put in the parts that we found um, in the first part of this um, into z and work out what z star is. We then want to go ahead and equate the real parts of this equation and equate the imaginary parts of this equation. OK, so those are your hints um, and hopefully they will allow you to get started with this. I'd now like you to have a go um, and I'll go over the answers shortly. OK, I'm now going to work through the answers to this question. So for part A, um, we were solving this equation. I suggested that you complete the square, so I'm going to start by completing the square on this. So that's going to give me w plus 3 squared um, take away 9. And that gives me this part here. Plus 34 equals 0. So that means w plus 3 squared is equal to negative 25. I then want to square root both sides. Now remember, if I square root negative 25, that's the same as square root, square root in negative 1 times by just sorry, the square root of negative 1 times by the square root of 25. Well, the square root of negative 1 we know is i, so the square root of 25 is 5. So that means that w plus 3 is going to be equal to 5i. But remember, it's plus or minus 5i. OK, which means w is going to be equal to negative 3 plus or minus 5i we've now got it in this form here okay um, sorry this form here okay part B um, we're given this here we want to express Z um, in the term sorry the form a plus B I so I'm going to start by expanding this out so I've got Z is equal to, and I'm going to do the double brackets bit first, so I'm just going to leave that i outside, um, and I've got 1 times 1, which, sorry, 1 times 2, which is 2, 1 times i, which is 
i i times 2 which is 2i and i times i which is negative 1 so let's subtract 1 okay so this is going to simplify to i times and we've got 2 take away 1 so we've got 1 plus 3i I can now multiply everything by the i, so that's going to give me 1 times i, which is i, and i times 3i, which gives me negative 3. So it's going to be z is going to be equal to minus 3 plus i, and that's in that form there. So a is minus 3, and b is 1. OK, for the second part of this, I'll come over here. OK, I want to find the integers m and n um, such that this here is true. So I've got z, and we know that z is minus 3 plus i. And I want to plus m times the conjugate of z, the complex conjugate of z. So that, according to our definition that we looked at earlier, um, is going to be minus 3 take away i. And that's equal to n times i. So um, I'm just going to expand out the brackets here. So I'm going to have minus 3 plus i take away 3m take away m i is equal to n i okay what I'm now going to do is I'm going to um, equate the imaginary sorry the, I'll equate the real parts first so equate real okay so my real part are going to be this bit here, this bit here, and nothing over there. So that means I'm now going to have negative 3 take away 3m is equal to 0, which means 3m is equal to negative 3 and m is equal to negative 1. OK, I'm now going to equate the imaginary parts. OK, so my imaginary parts here are going to be this part here, this part here, and this part here. OK, so... Right, so um, that means that we've got one lot of our imaginary number there, so 1 take away m is going to be equal to n. We've worked out m to be negative 1, so we've got 1 take away negative 1, which is 2, is going to be equal to n, or n is equal to 2. And there you go, so our integers m and n are going to be negative 1 and 2. Right, okay, um, hopefully you followed that. Thanks very much for watching, um, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.